being bilingual from birth can be an advantage. And increasingly, teachers believe that foreign language teaching should start at nursery school. But what are the ramifications of this in a country like the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia? In the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, tension exists between Albanian and Macedonian-speaking communities. Nationalistic politicians create schools for their own ethnic group, thereby separating children. Experts agree that this lack of bilingual education will extend today's problems far into the future. But there are some exceptions, such as the Mosaic Project in the Orse Nikolov Kindergarten in Skopje. It offers bilingual education in fully integrated groups, bringing together children from Macedonian and Albanian-speaking families. Vladan's son Filip enjoys playing with Dorian's daughter Deborah. My family is bilingual and I think that uh, that is the main advantage for him to understand that people are different, that they have different customs. They speak different language, but that he can live with them and play with them and have fun with them. It's good for parents and children to be in close contact with Macedonian customs and culture. All the parents are invited to celebrate uh, their child's birthday in the kindergarten. Uh, we, are, we are preparing ourselves for that event. We, uh, while bringing some photos, telling the stories from his childhood. The parents' participation at the kindergarten is important. Parents and teachers speak in their own language. From early morning to late afternoon, the group is in permanent contact with two teachers, one Albanian and one Macedonian speaking. It's all about connecting to the other language group as early as possible. But out of the 130 families attending the kindergarten, only 20 have chosen the bilingual option. The project is called Mosaic and began operating in 1998. Yes, I think that it should be implemented because finally we have to understand that we have to live together, not by side by side, but together. I strongly believe that if something like this continues in all our kindergartens, schools and universities, things would look completely different from how they are today. While there is a waiting list to join the Mosaic project in this neighbourhood, in most Macedonian towns and villages, ethnic pressures still exist for a single language approach. It's possible that the Mosaic project could change the education system in the country and show that bilingualism is better for the future. Learning World, in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.